Let's make some homemade marshmallows. Yum! The first thing you want to do is spray a pan. It says a 9x9, nine nine, but I don't have a 9x9. Nine nine. This is more like a 6x10 or something. I don't know. But spray whatever you have. Or you can butter it, but I'm going to use spray. To your KitchenAid, add 2 thirds cup of cold water and then 3 packs of gelatin unflavored. Um, this is the brand I'm using. It comes in 4 packets and you can pretty much get it at anywhere, but I found mine at Winco. And you're just going to sprinkle all 3 packets over there. Yes, yes, yes. And then since you're already going to use this, just go ahead and mix it up with that instead of getting something else dirty. This is called Blooming the Gelatin and it will go like hard. I'll show you. To your little sauce pot, you're going to add in one and a half cups of sugar, two thirds cup of water, and one cup of white corn syrup. Turn it on medium heat and start melting that all together. Make sure to scrape down the side so you get all that syrup in there. Now that the sugar is all dissolved, we are going to bring it to a boil and let it boil for about 10 to 12 minutes or until a candy thermometer reaches 240 degrees. It's a bubbling away, so I set my timer for 11 minutes and we're going to see what it does in 11 minutes. This is what bloomed gelatin looks like. I'll show you when I mix it up. Just Isn't that wild? The mixture has been going for about 11 and a half minutes. It's not quite brown, but if I let it go, I think it'd make like a caramel. We're going to turn this on and slowly add the syrup to the side of the bowl so it doesn't splash up and burn our faces off, okay? Just add it very slowly. This gets all over the place and just try and wash it off as best as you can when you're done. Do it as immediately, because look, this is like sugar crystals and already and whatnot. So let that mix for like 10 to 12 minutes until it's doubled in size. And when you lift up this thing, it makes soft peaks. I'll show you. It'll start off with like a light brown color, but eventually it'll turn to white. See how it's turning white and getting thicker? We're still not there, but it's definitely getting thicker. While it's on its way to getting light and fluffy, you add in one tablespoon of vanilla and half a teaspoon of salt. And also, if you're going to use them, this is when you would add your food coloring. So I'm going to do red and blue and try and make a purple out of them. Let's try. It will stain your fingers, so just be careful. Let's add some blue. That's beautiful. And let's add some red. Probably going to need a lot more than that. You can't see it, but it's definitely lavender colored. Okay, it looks great, but it's really purple, I swear. Um, see how that's not stiff peaks? Just keep going, baby. This has been about five minutes or so. It is almost there. See how that's still sliding down? We're going to go for a couple more minutes. Okie dokie. We are stopping here because look at all that goodness. Yum, yum, yum. I'm also going with a 9 by 13 instead of that little pan because I want, I want more marshmallows. And I'd say that's a stiff peak. It was also coming off of the sides, which is a good indicator as well. And now you have to work really fast or else this will set up. Um, start pouring that into your pan and use a spatula. And there they are. I'm just gonna cover this with foil and let them sit uh, overnight or you need at least four hours to sit up or set up, I mean. Um, and this is a nice little treat. It's like a reward. Make sure to soak all your marshmallow stuff too so that it comes off easily. Another cool thing about sugar is that it's hydroscopic so that it, it means it attracts water. So it won't take so long to break down if you just spray it and give it a few seconds. So just a little tidbit for ya. Now that they've set for about 12 hours, I'm going to sprinkle them with some powdered sugar and then cut them out of the pan. Okay, I got some giraffes, some koalas, some elephants, some alligators. Uh, this is supposed to be a sheep, but it doesn't look like it, but it's a sheep. And then I think that's a cow or something. And then I have all this leftover goodness that I'm just gonna cut up and put in there as well, if people want it or if they don't, it's up to them. 
Sprinkle all of it with some powdered sugar though and you are good to go.